The U.S. Catholic bishops advanced their plan that could deny communion to public figures who support abortion rights. The vote took place Friday with overwhelming support. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Carly Van Cleve talked with a Catholic in the Fort about what this means and how she thinks it may be pushing young people in the church away. Linda, I reached out to our Fort Wayne area Bishop Kevin Rhodes, but he said he couldn't talk with me today. In the virtual conference, though, our bishop stated they are no longer proposing this as a national policy, but leaving it up to individual bishops to decide. Communion is sacred, but every life is sacred, too. Cindy Black is the executive director of Redeemer Radio, Fort Wayne's Catholic radio station. She says this shouldn't be such a political issue. Politics are of this world, whereas our faith and the eternal person are, um, are above that. She says the Catholic Church should welcome all, even if a person goes against the church's beliefs like abortion. I would just hate for anyone who is seeking to follow Jesus the best that they can to be not to be denied the sacrament especially when they could have repented. According to surveys from the Pew Research Center, more than half of U.S. Catholics favor abortion rights and believe a person should not be denied communion. The Catholic Church values every person, and we need to accept where people are on their journey. Pew also released this data, showing the Catholic Church is divided mostly on party lines. I think that there are good Catholics, um, who have a variety, hold a variety of political views and that we, we need to look at the dignity of the human person and what the church teaches about those who are vulnerable and apply those across the board. Black says she's seen younger people leaving the church because of politics and suggests the church should change its message. God created every person and loves every person regardless of what their current moral choices are. I think as the church, we need to lead with that and let young people know that whatever their beliefs are, that we love them. Well, the number of young people leaving the church or not subscribing to a belief at all is on the rise. In Indiana, recent Pew Research says 26% of surveyed Hoosiers claim no religious affiliation whatsoever. I also reached out to a Bishop Dwanger theology teacher who says he was willing to talk with me, but he says officials with the diocese insisted on being with him during the interview, but that wasn't possible today. All right, Carly.